Scuderia Ferrari is determined to go beyond normal limits and take a further step forward in this start of the 2024 Formula One Championship. Under the guidance of Frederick Vasseur, the Marinello team's engineers are making huge efforts to expedite the deployment of new upgrades in anticipation of the next round of the season, which is set to take place in Japan at the Suzuka International Racing Course in two weeks' time. Following a promising performance in Australia, it's critical to thoroughly scrutinize the gathered data to refine the current design of the SF24 single-seater before attempting to boost its capabilities even further. We remember how merely a couple of years back, Scuderia Ferrari found itself adversely affected by a technical regulation change that significantly hindered its performance, namely the introduction of Technical Directive 39, which influenced the overall performances of many teams, but mainly Ferraris. This change impacted the previous season's configuration, resulting in lap times that didn't match the projections made by the simulation technologies at Marinello. This gap between expectation and reality therefore prompted the prestigious Italian team to undertake substantial revisions. Nevertheless, the struggles experienced a year prior are now beginning to pay off. The vehicle's competitive edge for the 2024 Formula One season was affirmed by both Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc at the Albert Park circuit, with the Spaniard securing the race win ahead of his Monegasque teammate. A particularly positive aspect for Scuderia Ferrari in Australia was the minimal tire wear they experienced, marking a significant point of data, while also being aware that Max Verstappen's unexpected retirement in the early stages of the From the Melbourne race complicates any definitive conclusions about the RB20's potential competitiveness. Partial assessment can be made with the other RB20 car of Sergio Perez, but the Mexican was also affected by a technical issue in the second part of the Australian Grand Prix as a visor tear-off hampered the aerodynamic performance of his Red Bull. Not to mention the fact that Sergio Perez is struggling to use the strengths of the RB20 car to the best advantage. Ferrari team boss Fred Vasseur is well aware of the fiercely competitive environment of Formula One. Ferrari, perhaps more than any other team, understands the critical importance of maintaining a strong development path throughout the entire championship. Bearing this perspective in mind, the 55-year-old French manager is not getting overly excited by Carlos Sainz's victory at the Albert Park circuit in Australia, emphasizing a steady approach. He highlighted that the Marinello team's performance was consistently strong throughout the Melbourne weekend, starting from the very first free practice session. He acknowledged the significant progress made since the previous season, contrasting this year's success with the disappointment of leaving Melbourne without any points last year. The results in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia were not seen as disappointing, nor is the team allowing the 1-2 finish in Australia to overly influence their mindset. He stressed the importance of maintaining this balanced approach in future races as the key to achieving the desired outcomes. Still, Ferrari held its own in a race where tire degradation proved to be a lot higher than expected. Carlos Sainz's strategy of prolonging his first two stints while keeping risks at bay played a pivotal role in his success at the Albert Park circuit. Apart from a communication to his team in the second-to-last lap, the Spaniard competently managed his pace. Technical director Enrico Cardile and his technical department introduced a newly developed rear wing for the Melbourne weekend. This marked the SF24's first performance enhancement for 2024, the beginning of a long development journey that is starting to intensify. At the time of its preseason unveiling, the SF24 faced widespread critique for its seemingly simplistic design, which now feels like a distant memory. The narrative across Formula One journalism and online forums was that Ferrari's 2024 entry appeared too cautious, and in some respects, this assessment held weight. Ferrari was, and still is, in the process of fully understanding a car that is very different from its predecessor. However, the early February judgments were hasty. The Marinello team's 1-2 finish in Australia serves as a testament to the competitiveness of their package. With the right adjustments, it shows promise for further improvement. Scuderia Ferrari is now accelerating its upgrade timeline to debut its 2024 enhancements at the next round in Japan. The sprint weekend format of the Chinese Grand Prix, which is the fifth race weekend of 2024, typically discourages teams from rolling out new innovations due to the compressed schedule which makes it more difficult to evaluate the updates as well as to prepare for the race weekend and find the ideal setup. Fred Vasseur's team isn't of course the only one eyeing improvements. Red Bull plans to unveil significant updates in Suzuka as well. These changes are expected to be quite drastic, 
with reports of an even more extreme and aggressively designed RB20 that emerged during the preseason testing session. The extent to which the RB20 will have evolved, both in terms of visibility and substance, remains to be seen. However, Ferrari is aware that it cannot afford complacency, despite their strong start to the championship. While McLaren's updates are not expected for a while, the MCL38 continues to pose a competitive challenge, particularly at tracks that suit the characteristics of the car designed by Woking-based team this year.